In this video, we will learn seven important questions on topics what I have taught you earlier. All the questions in this topic have taken out from first year BSc Chemistry Honors of Paper 2 that is Organic Chemistry. So now let's go. So the first question is although HCl hydrogen chlorine has larger bond than hydrogen chlorine, the dipole moment of hydrogen chlorine is lower than that of hydrogen chlorine. Explain. So I have used some symbols or notation over here that is E1 and E2 are the charge factor of HCl and HF respectively. D1 and D2 are the bond length between hydrogen chlorine and hydrogen fluorine respectively. And mu1 and mu2 are the dipole moment of two molecule that is HCl and HF respectively. So, we all know that mu depends on the charge factor and the bond distance among the two atom attached in a molecule. So, we know that uh, mu is equal to E into D. So, for the first molecule and for the second molecule, though D1 is 1.27 angstrom for the first molecule and D2 is 0.92 angstrom for the second molecule that means that d1 is greater than d2 but the another factor that is e2 is very very greater than e1 because f is the that is fluorine is the strongest electronegative element in the periodic table that is why e2 that is charge factor is very much higher than e1 of hydrogen chlorine that is why here in this case the charged factor predominates therefore we can say that mu2 is greater than mu1 that is the dipole moment of hydrogen chlorine is lower than that of hydrogen fluorine now the next question is bromination of methane is less exothermic than for chlorination here the del h denotes the energy release during bromination or chlorination now Energy released during bromination and chlorination can be obtained by subtracting bond energy of all substances from bond energy of all reactant molecule. So here for the first case when bromination of methane is occurred is obtained by this formula it is energy of carbon bromine bond plus energy of hydrogen bromine bond minus energy of carbon hydrogen bond plus energy of bromine bromine bond from the above data given on the question if we put the value accordingly we will find that del h energy list du during bromination is minus 7.5 kilocalorie per mole if we apply the same thing for the chlorination of methane molecule we will get the value of minus 2 24.5 kilocalorie per mole so the energy released during chlorination of methane is very much greater than energy released during bromination of methane that is why bromination of methane is less exothermic than for chlorination here exothermic means that in this bromination and chlorination reaction the energy is released neither the energy is absorbed now draw the resonance structures of guanidine and identify the most and least contributors to the resonance hybrid so this is the resonance structure of guanidine here the lone pair of nitrogen atom is sharing its electron pair to carbon nitrogen bond and the nitrogen atom here gets some negative character and thus the two resonating structures came in a charged form earlier i have taught you that uncharged resonating structures have more stability that is why it is more contributing towards resonance hybrid so here the uncharged structures structure of guanidine this structure is more contributing in the resonance hybrid while these two are ionic structures equal contribution to resonance hybrid but and positive charge is on electronegative nitrogen atom 
and again i have taught you that if there is a positive charge on the most electronegative or the electronegative atom and where this exists there will be um, less stability of this structure that is why these two structures are less contributing to resonance hybrid now the next question is write down the total number of sigma bonds present in this molecule so always remember and uh, that i have taught you earlier that uh, whenever we will found a single bond there is only a sigma bond but whenever there we found double bond there is one sigma bond and one pi bond and whenever we find triple bond there is two pi bond and one sigma bond so here this cc triple bond has one sigma bond and two pi bond this is a carbon carbon bond has one sigma bond and this carbon oxygen bond have one sigma bond one pi bond similarly in the ring structure we found six sigma bond while three pi bond that is why we can conclude that in these structures there are 12 sigma bonds and six pi bonds the next question is compare the carbon oxygen bond length of the following compound and give reasons so here that is a compound one has largest carbon oxygen bond length because carbon oxygen bond remains practically as single bond since cycloheptatrienyl cation is a six pi electron aromatic system and we know that aromatic system of 4n plus 2 pi electrons obtained from Huckel rule is very much stable and have less energy that is why carbon oxygen bond length is larger and now for compound 2 there occurred a carbon hydrogen hyperconjugation with the carbon oxygen double bond and for compound 3 there occurred a uh, resonance among the carbon oxygen atoms of this group as resonance proceeds over hyperconjugation the co bond length will be more for compound 3 than compound 2 that is why after the whole discussion we can conclude that carbon oxygen bond length increases in the following way where the compound 1 has the largest bond length while the compound 2 has smallest bond length. Now the sixth question is why polarizability of OH bond in phenol is higher than the OH bond of methyl alcohol. So here in phenol there occur resonance with benzene ring and thus oxygen atom become positively charged as a result bonded electrons of OH bond shift towards the oxygen atom which make the OH bond more polarizable on the other hand due to plus i effect of CH2 group electron of OH bond shift towards hydrogen atom which makes it less polarizable as there occur centralization or localization of charges on oxygen atom that is why oxygen atom of methanol has least tendency to attract the bonding electron pair of oxygen hydrogen bond towards itself that is why polarizability of OH bond in phenol is higher than the OH bond of methyl alcohol. The seventh question is why the halide atom in vinyl halide is less reactive. We know that double bond have more energy that is why it is not easy to break. While the single bond has low energy that is why it is easy to break. Going to resonance in the CX bond of vinyl halide because here the lone pair on halogen atom delocalizes through resonance to the vinyl group that is why CX bond in vinyl halide get double bond character as a result CX bond is difficult to break that is why halide atom is less reactive. I hope you understand all the questions I have discussed here. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you want to continue this discussion, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. 
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग